God doesn't call the equipped, but rather, He equips those He calls. This familiar saying has become a favorite phrase of believers in all walks of life. According to Dr. Robert Kanoy, the current dean of the Gardner-Webb University M. Christopher White School of Divinity, this statement also offers an accurate description of the ultimate goals of the university's professional divinity degree program. When a student comes to our school, we know that God has called them. That's always a number one concern for us. We don't call anyone to ministry here, but those whom God has called, we walk alongside them in preparing them for the ministry that maybe they're involved in now or that will be theirs in the future. Uh, since we don't call people to ministry, we do want to assist them and help them be as best prepared as they can be. And one of the ways we do that is with a uh, very intentional uh, goal of spiritual formation. That is, we want our people not only to be academically prepared, but also spiritually focused and spiritually prepared for what awaits them when they actually are in ministry. Since its establishment in 1993, hundreds of people have achieved their post-baccalaureate educational goals through the Gardner-Webb University School of Divinity, which began offering the Doctor of Ministry degree in 2002. As the school passes its 20th anniversary, nearly 500 students have graduated with a Master of Divinity, a Doctor of Ministry, or a dual degree combination. Dr. Tony McCraw recently completed the Doctor of Ministry program and understands the challenges associated with attaining a professional divinity degree. The most difficult thing for me is, is being a bivocational pastor and going to church, and I have a wife and daughter. And so uh, that aspect caused the, the difficulty level to rise a little bit. But one of the things that I respect about the school is they take study seriously, and they do uh, demand that the student be able to defend his or her belief biblically. A strong biblical foundation is of critical importance within the Gardner-Webb School of Divinity. Well, as a School of Divinity, we, we settled uh, early on um, on, on our, our primary theological foundation is the Bible. And the best way we articulate that is whenever a new faculty member, for instance, joins our faculty, they sign a commemorative copy of the Bible saying that they will teach in accordance with and live according to the standards found in the Scripture. Tommy James received his baccalaureate education at Gardner-Webb and later earned a Master of Divinity. He serves as the senior pastor at First Baptist Church in Burnsville, North Carolina. He strives to reach across generations with the message of Christ. The younger generation, less than 4% of 20-somethings are, are in church. So it's quite a challenge to be a church that is relevant, a church that uh, understands the culture and understands people. And so trying to minister to people who are in their 80s uh, while reaching people who are in their 20s is a daunting task. Being trained by men and women who not only understand these concerns, but who have walked a mile in the same ministry shoes is one reason why graduates highly endorse the Divinity School at Gardner-Webb. Uh, what I like about Gardner-Webb is, is, first of all, the faculty, down-to-earth, real people, uh, warm, uh, most of whom have ministry experience, and so they're, uh, they're not the stereotypical Ivy Tower professors. They're really down-to-earth people, and I've enjoyed getting to know them. As, as people uh, first and then professor second, they're real good people. And our faculty now, I think, are as fine a faculty uh, as can be found anywhere in theological education. They bring all the academic credentials that are there, but they also bring a clear focus and clear understanding that God calls people to ministry and they are here to walk alongside those people, uh, our students, to help them be all they can be in ministry. While biblical knowledge and understanding is key to the core curriculum, the school is also extremely serious about spiritual formation and leading their students to continually develop their personal relationship with Jesus is a top priority. Dr. Guy Sales is the pastor of First Baptist Church in Asheville and he serves as an adjunct professor for the school. I think after you wrestle with complexity for a while as a Christian, you, you come back to the realization that Jesus is the center of it and everything else flows out of a connection with Him. The most important thing I can do is have an authentic relationship with Christ and work on it every day. And then everything else will 
sort of fall in place. Although students may be certain of their calling, they may be uncertain as to which steps to take following the completion of their degree program. Dr. Danny West is a professor of preaching for the Divinity School, and he's the executive director of the Doctor of Ministry program. He also handles ministerial referrals in order to effectively connect graduates with service opportunities. Churches contact us routinely. Our students then go to the website. We do this all electronically, and so we're a glorified matchmaking service. We try to partner churches and students uh, to find each other and to particularly help our students so they can have an outlet to, to foster their ministry identity and skill to work in the church and to learn what it is to serve God. West is no stranger to ministry and his own son Cameron graduated from the School of Divinity in 2012. West is proud of Cameron for answering God's calling, but he knows that entering ministry is not for the faint of heart. To be honest, I was scared because I know how difficult ministry can be. He will be wounded and Dad won't be there to help him, though I'd like to be. I understand that uh, people um, are, can be wishy-washy. They can love you one minute and not like you the next. But staying uh, true to my calling and, and true to who I am as a person in, in Christ is, is critical. And if the people love you, the people love you. If they don't love you, well, that's, they'll have to answer for that. Craig Stevens and Carolyn Harrison are recent graduates of the Master of Divinity program. Their experiences combined elements for which they had prepared, and they also discovered a few surprises along the way. There's a lot of late nights staying up, uh, writing papers and uh, studying, and it's been a humbling experience to realize that I, I can't do any of this on my own, uh, that I really have to put a, a lot of uh, trust in, uh, in, help, in getting help from not only my wife, but you know, other family to help you know, keep the kids. Attending classes, uh, meeting great professors, uh, learning so much information about God. Um, I expected all that, but then there was this surprise and I was uh, able to travel to the Holy Land in Egypt and to Greece and Turkey, which took me along uh, Paul's second missionary journey. So those travels were the surprises, I mean, that I really never expected. McCraw enjoyed an environment in which answers could be explored thoroughly without judgment or predetermined opinions. For the most part, the students that I have met here, uh, they know they don't have all the answers. They come with that, that knowledge of themselves that they're lacking. And they leave, they still know there's more to learn. So they, there's no uh, you know, theological know-it-alls that I've met here. It's just a great atmosphere. I've enjoyed this school. I would recommend it you know, for anybody seeking religious education. No matter the focus area or ministry concentration, School of Divinity officials at Gardner-Webb remain steadfast in their message to graduating students. I say to our students when they graduate, you've come here to earn a Master of Divinity degree. My prayer since you have arrived and now in your leaving is that you have learned to allow the divine to have mastered you. When we've done that and done that well, I believe we've done the very best work we can do for our Lord and for His kingdom.